Hi everyone, this is Madhumita of Science Department. In our previous video, we have discussed about structure of plant. So the same topic today also we are going to discuss. Just we will recall a bit. Okay. So in the structure of plant, we have seen two different structures. So one is called as vegetative structure and the next one is called as reproductive structure. Which means in this vegetative structure, there are three parts are there. One is root, stem and leaf. Yes. So, this three parts, it is uh, working uh, for the life processes. Okay. Uh, so, that's a bodily function. So, so, that's why we are telling that as vegetative parts. Okay. Now, the second part, like I already told, the reproductive parts. There are three parts which involves in the process of reproduction. What is called reproduction? Producing young ones. So, this part, these kind of parts are called as reproductive parts. So, in this video, we are going to discuss about the reproductive parts of a plant. Let's see one by one. So, what are the reproductive parts of a plant? The first one, flower, fruit. The last one, seed. So, first we are going to discuss about flower. So, like all, uh, already like what we did, the same way. First, we are going to discuss the structure of flower. Now, if you see the flower, you could see a stalk that is called as pedicel. Actually, this pedicel, it is helping the flower to attach in the stem region. Okay. So, the first part is pedicel. Then, you could see a green color part which covers the base of the flower. Okay. This is called as sepal. If you see the sepal, it will be larger when the flower is as a bud. Actually, it is the sepal, it is a protecting cover of, uh, of the flower. Okay. Then, actually the sepal, it is green in color. Then, there comes petals. So, petals are the colorful part of the plant. So, we know that flowers are very colorful and it has very rich fragrant and also you can see sweet fluid in the flower. Why the flower has all these values? Do you know? Because all these things help the plant to reproduce. So, about that we will discuss that in the topic of pollination. Now, we will go ahead. So, the petals are the colorful part of the plant. Okay. Then next, uh, you can see a picture like part down here and this is called as ovary. So inside the ovary, you can see very small granules like structure. So this is called ovule. So ovary, inside the ovary, you, you could see ovule. So, this ovule, it is the female reproductive organ. Okay. Then, which continues with a long filament. It is called as style. And at the top, there is a small bulge structure is there. It is stigma. So, totally, collectively, this ovary ovule, style and stigma throughout it is called as pistil. It is called as pistil. Okay. All together this pistil it is a female reproductive organ. So not only the female reproductive organ but also the male reproductive organ also present in the flower. Here a small tube like structure is there. This is called as filament and at the top of there, there is a bulged area which is yellow in color. This is anther. So, this anther and filament together it is called as stamen. So, stamen is the 
main reproductive part of the plant. So, if you take the anther, if you just uh, uh, tear the anther, you could see yellow color powdery substance that is male cell. We are calling that as pollen grains. Okay. So, what are the uh, parts we have seen? So, first we have seen pedicel. Pedicel, it is a part which helps the flower to stick on the stem. Then next we have seen sepal. Sepal, it is a protective part of the flower which holds the sepals and all the other organs of a flower. Then comes petals. Petals are the colorful part of the plant. And uh, ne next, uh, female reproductive organ, then male reproductive organ. So, female reproductive organ contains ovary, ovule, style and stigma. All together it is being told as pistil. Okay. The next male reproductive organ it is called stamen. It contains anther and filament. So, this is the structure of flower. So, next we are going to discuss what is the function of flower. So, like I already told, it is the reproductive part. So, the flowers will do the function called reproduction. Okay, what is called reproduction? Reproduction is nothing but producing young ones. So, whatever it may be the plant, it will produce the same kind. Okay, so that is called as reproduction. About this, we will discuss in our next video elaborately. So, next, this flower as a result of pollination, after the pollination completes, about that also we will discuss later, okay. After the pollination completes, it, it has become as fruit, okay. I told the fruit is also one more kind of, yes, reproductive part. So far, we have discussed about the structure and function of flowers. Next, we are going to discuss about the next reproductive part called fruit. Okay, what is fruit? So, already I told from the flower, the fruit is being produced. Yes, what is fruit? Fruit is the tastiest part of the plant. Why the fruits are very tasty, do you know? Because, yes, we know that inside the fruit, we could see seed. So, the seed, it has to get dispersed from one place to another place. If it is very tasty, what will happen? The animals, one who consumes, one who eat the fruit, it just throw the seed somewhere else. And from there, a new plant grows. Am I correct? Yes. So, that's why the fruits are very tastier. Okay, so if you see the fruit, what is inside? Inside we can see seed. So, seed is also a reproductive part. So, now we are going to see uh, the structure of bean seed because that is easily dissectable. Okay, so if you see a bean seed, it will be kidney shaped like this, isn't it? If you see at the center, there will be a white color part you could see. Am I correct? So, if you just start to open that uh, bean seed, there, there will be a very, very uh, uh, thin skin you can peel out. Am I correct? So, that thin skin that you are peeling out, it is called as seed coat. Do you know what is the function of seed coat? The seed coat, it covers the total seed and also it protects everything which is inside the seed. So, the function of seed coat is protecting the seed. Okay. The next, you could see a bulged area here, isn't it? The name of that area, it is called as hilum. If you see that very keenly, you could see a small opening here. This opening allows the air to go inside for it is helping in the uh, gaseous transportation. Why? Why the seed need air? Yes, of course, not only seed, each and every plants need air. With the help of that only it can start to grow. It can do its 
body function and it can start to grow. So through the hilum, not only air but also water enter inside the seed. Okay. So then if you just take that bean seed into two half, we can, yes, we can split that into two half. That two half you are splitting, isn't it? That is called as cotyledon. This cotyledon, it is also called as seed leaf. What is the function of, function of this cotyledon? Actually, this gives nutrients to the baby plant, one who is growing inside. Okay, we know that at the beginning, which will be producing the food in a plant. Yes, of course, we know that is leaf. Okay, if you just throw the seed away, can the seed grow on its own? Because there is no leaf in the seed. Then how will it prepare food? Yes, at the beginning, it is being utilized the nutrients which is present in the cotyledons. So, the cotyledons give enough amount of nutrients for the baby plant. So, where the baby plant now, it grows inside like that. Then later, it will come out through this hilum. Okay. So, what is cotyledon? Cotyledon is also called a seed leaf. And through this, only the baby plant consumes its nutrients. Are you clear? Very good. So, this is the structure of seed. Now, what is the function of seed? Yes, of course, producing new plant. Okay, so from the seed only, the new plant, it will start to arise. So, so far today we have discussed about the reproductive parts of a plant. So, what are the reproductive parts we have discussed? Flower, fruit and seed. Thank you. Thank you.